Before we head into the final, ladies and gentlemen, let's just take a review of what we've seen in this International Cup. So Group 1 hosts Qatar. Drew all of their games to make it into third place. Peru, very bad showing in the end. Poland topping the group with Portugal, our finalists, in second. Group B, not a convincing performance for a first place team, but Argentina did make it. Denmark shocked England in the final game to overtake them and get second place. Bad performance for England with Nigeria, bottom of the group. Group C, Senegal, three games, three wins. Surprising the Belgium golden generation. Switzerland, not a great shine for them and Panama. They were just happy to be here. Group D. Croatia, last year's finalists of the World Cup. Falling at the group stage alongside Ecuador. And it was Saudi Arabia and Egypt that made it through the knockout round. Group E. The world champions France breezed through their group. With Serbia, a respectable second place. The USA and New Zealand really didn't stand much of a chance. Our other finalists, the Netherlands. Second place in their group behind Germany. Who we saw falter at the third place playoff. Mexico failing to make it through on goal difference alone. The one goal that they conceded against Iran sunk them. Iran, of course, didn't win a single game conceding 10 goals. A goal difference of minus 9. Group G. Very impressive showing for Spain. Drawing just the one game. Australia, just happy to make up the numbers. Algeria, respectable third place with Colombia obtaining second. And similar to Group A, Brazil not a convincing first place, but a first place nonetheless. Republic of Korea simply making it through on their seeded placement. Mali managing third place, and Scotland not a good not a good tournament for them. The knockout stage, Senegal. You see how they shocked Saudi Arabia and shocked Poland before making it to the semi-final where they fell to the Netherlands. The Netherlands had a great showing, beating France, beating Spain, and then beating Senegal to make the final. On the other side, Portugal. They took down Argentina. They took down Egypt. And then they took down Germany. Germany having their showings against Serbia and a brilliant performance against Colombia before becoming undone by Portugal and then the humiliation that they suffered against Senegal in the third place playoff. In line for the Golden Boots, it is still Memphis Depay with four goals. He can add to that and it's almost a four goal conclusion that he's going to be getting the Golden Boots. The next best contender is also another Dutch centre forward, Wegholst, and I pray I've pronounced that correctly. Portugal, their highest scorer so far with just the two goals is Cristiano Ronaldo, who has not had a good tournament. He'll be looking to recover. And what a grander stage could it be to do it than this cup final. We now take a brief look at the assists. Tadic from Serbia and Witzel from Belgium. Both looking in line for that award. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This International Cup, this Virtual World Cup Final. A rematch of the battle from Nuremberg. Netherlands against Portugal. 